Today, I'm working on this rack. This rack is going to house two MPPT solar controllers, and it's also going to hold two DC to DC chargers, okay? And I would have had the chargers here as well, but um, Amazon sent me the wrong chargers. They didn't send me the smart ones. So I have to send those back and wait for the tomorrow. They're going to send me the, the correct chargers and I'll be able to include those in the system here. In the meantime, I'll show you what I'm up to. This, this system, look how nice and neat this is, right? Uh, why don't I mount them to the wall, you ask? Well, in a ProMaster, uh, there are not very many studs or places where you can mount your wall panels, unlike a Sprinter. Uh, the Sprinter van, uh, as I've said, fit and finish, quality of material, and, uh, and, and building structure, much better. It's in a league of its own. But they rust out. But every one of these vans has its own problems. Pull me back, get off that tangent. Basically, with a ProMaster, I consider these wall panels in the rear to be decorative only. Towards the ends, where I do have a place to mount and screw in and have structure, I can put an outlet there. I have no problem with that. You can see that. Uh, but they're primarily decorative. And then anything I want to mount and really know that it's going to run safely in a van, uh, I use my 8020 and I engineer it. Uh, what I like about using 8020, even for a rack like this, this is fully adjustable one way or another as time goes on and as the build goes on. If I had committed to just screwing these into the wall and I had to move them or tweak them, tweaking's not that easy when you're screwed it into the wall. You're making all kinds of holes. So this system, I can slide it, I can raise it, I can lower it. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, one of the concerns I have with it is I need to fit my BMS, which is the battery management system. This is the brains of the whole operation, okay? Without this, nothing else is gonna work. So that's gonna sit right here. So look at how nice and, and, uh, and neat this is, how it all falls into place. Now, as I said, two MPPT controllers here. And then the other thing I'm gonna do, get out of there so I can make a demonstration here. You're gonna make me work for this, aren't you? Those would be the MPPTs on that side. And then over here, I will mount the two uh, DC to DC chargers. And I offset this one, the lower one, I offset it because they're stacked. We gotta get wires into here. I'm using number six wires for these DC chargers. So I need to get these wires up in here and have room to work with them. So if these were both flush on line, it'd be a little more difficult. So I brought these out uh, one inch. Everything is still in plain sight. Everything is, uh, is uh, uh, accessible, right? I can remove any one of these components without having to touch any of the others, which is the way I try to do things. It's not always the case, but in this case, it worked out quite well. And I'm keeping my sight lines from the rear of the van. I'm keeping everything clear so you can put eyes on this every day. Makes, in fact, um, Mr. and Mrs. Sprinter, they're just returning from a 6,000 plus mile trip in three weeks. So they definitely took the van on a, a shakedown cruise. I asked him, I said, listen, you're running your air conditioner 24 seven. You're pushing this van hard. You're in San, with somewhere they were in Texas, they were in New Mexico, it was 105 degrees. I said, take the panel off and look at the fuses, look at the plastic, make sure there's no charring, no melting. You know, when you get back, I'm gonna shoot this stuff with a heat gun. I'm gonna torque it all down one more time. But these are the things you gotta worry about in a van. You can't just drive along blindly like nothing's gonna happen. You've gotta maintain, or at least in my mind you do. That's why I build this way, so you can put eyes on it. And if you have to make adjustments or tighten things up, it's easy. Okay, calm down, George. So, like I said, I wanna keep this this uh, aft area for Sam, for all his storage. So I placed this in such a way that I can put a nice little divider here that's gonna protect these components from any of the janjadils that uh, Sam puts over here. This is his storage area, right? So whatever he's got here and he hits on the brakes, it's not gonna hurt our controllers. Protection. So these are the things I'm working on today.
The other thing I worked on this week was my plumbing manifold system. This is inside a cabinet at the end of the galley. See, I'm down by the microwave. Here's the galley. And uh, all of this plumbing is behind removable panels in this cabinet. Uh, it may look like a rat's nest to you, but I know every little inch of this. I just spent a week sitting in that little square area right there working on every one of these fittings. So believe me, I'm intimate with this area of the van as well. And I'll be giving you a full tour of this coming up. Down at this end of the galley, under the sink, are my supply lines for the sink. I've got hot, cold, and a UV filtered supply line for a neat little product from a company called Acuva. Uh, Tom Morton from Morton's On The Move did a review of this product at his sink in their fifth wheel. And my clients saw it, liked it, asked for it, and it's now in their vans. So you can check that whole review out. Uh, Tom is an excellent uh, electrical technician as well. So Morton's on the move and tell him George sent you.